in 2008, um, I started experiencing some pain between my shoulder blades, and at, which manifested myself in going to the doctor, which could not be regulated without painkillers. So quite honestly, as I was driving through the process, I realized it started to impact me and my wife. Uh, our hobby is raising show quality dogs. And I like to take part in it. I like to, but I realized that I was kind of shying away from any extra on the weekends as when you're taking painkillers, you become like lethargic. And it, it, inadvertently, you don't even realize you're losing control of your personal life due to your injury. And uh, that's kind of what started me down the path to getting, having my general physician refer me to a prominent orthopedic surgeon. Discovered that I had some severe uh, herniation, and I believe the medical term is uh, stenosis in the, of the spine, which likely was not going to improve without intervention by a surgeon. He referred me to a very prominent, uh, good orthopedic surgeon who relieved my pain temporarily. Uh, about a year and a half to two years later, the pain came back on the other side. So I was going back for my second. Again, I was referred to a very prominent doctor, did an excellent job. Again, got some temporary relief, about another year and a half passed, same pain was back. And I just knew that there had, you know, I was going down the same path, but I had to get intervention or it was, that was it. That was what I was gonna feel for the rest of my life. So I went back, again, I got a third ACDF surgery. And at that point it was getting pretty complicated, but it was done well. Again, I got some short-term relief a couple of years. Then it came back again. At this point, somebody at my work told me about the quality of care at the Barrow Neurological. So I booted it up at work and took a look. And I was really impressed with the uh, second opinion, how seamless it was. Because I already had, I was set for surgery. I already had an MRI. I already had reports. I already had x-rays. I was very impressed with Dr. Ponce's bio, so I said to my wife, I'm like, what can we lose? I don't even have to leave the house. Next morning, I uploaded it, and amazingly, within 48 hours, I had an email back from an assessment of my reports. He had looked at my images, and I was blown away by the care. Uh, when Mr. Crooker presented his uh, uh, second opinion uh, request, uh, he included all the information we needed to know. Uh, which were, was pertinent, his um, past surgical history, his uh, current symptoms, uh, an MRI, and uh, another diagnostic study looking at the nerve function in his arm. Uh, so I was able to put all this together, and when I was assessing his situation, he had undergone three prior anterior neck operations. Anytime somebody has had a prior operation uh, in the level which is causing problems, uh, that automatically makes it complex. You're dealing with scar tissue, on top of that, uh, Mr. Crooker had had a prior opinion by another uh, orthopedic spine surgeon, uh, which recommended extending the fusion. Uh, so now you're looking at various options. And uh, on top of that, uh, managing patient expectations. After I talked to him, we made realistic. Another thing that really took me back by, he asked me questions I had never been asked before. Like, what's your expectations of this? And I said, Dr. Ponce, I've lived with pain for so long. If you can, we can get a certain reduction in pain, I'm good. Uh, my goal was to keep it simple. Uh, so looking at his symptoms and his diagnostic studies and putting it together, uh, my recommendation was to perform a laminectomy on the affected side. So the operation was basically to go in from the back where, where he had not had a prior operation and shave the bone down and remove all the bone spurs and aggressively take the pressure off the nerves that were being pinched. Uh, he was in the hospital, I believe, one night, and um, then I saw him again two weeks later, and he was doing great at that point. Uh, I don't think he was taking many pain medications at all, and he got back to work soon. Uh, he had a great outcome, and I think the reason is because we did the right surgery at the right time. Dr. Ponce was as close to perfect for me, and his care, his team, 
the, the nurses, the whole experience with Vera was phenomenal. And to this day, I'm pain free right now. So I think what's unique about the Barrow Second Opinion program is it provides a very accessible means by which to get another set of eyes to review your case. Because I think most people, especially in spine, would benefit from having more than one set of eyes review a case.